Okay, so we're going to draw a pie chart which is representing uh, the following favourite subjects for a number of students that have been surveyed. <clears throat> so the first thing we want to do is add up the total number of students. So we want to see how many students were actually surveyed. 12 plus 7 plus 8 plus 4 plus 5 adds up to a total of 36. Now, we have a total of 36 students. We need to fit those onto a pie chart. But we need to say how many degrees do we need to make each section, each subject effectively. So, to do that, let's start off with maths. We want to take the frequency for maths divided by the total number of students multiplied by 360 degrees. And that will give us an angle which we are going to translate to our pie chart. So, frequency for maths was 12 total we can keep up here, was 36 multiplied by 360 equals 120 degrees. So, go back to our pie chart. And using our protractor, measure out from the top 120 degrees, starting at zero come around, 120 degrees is here, and there we are. That slice will represent the number of people who like maths as their favourite subject. Right, now we need to do it for the next subject. So we take, again, the frequency, 7, divided by the total, which is 36, multiplied by 360 and that gives you an answer of 70 remember that 70 degrees which again is going to be put onto our pie chart now instead of drawing it from here I want you to turn it around so that this next line is vertical just a little bit easier to draw the angles so and then again we use our protractor and we measure out from that line, the end of the maths, 70 degrees, which is here. Go from the centre out to the edge and that slice now represents students that like English. Now if we keep doing this same method for the rest of the subjects, they should all fit exactly nice and neatly into our pie chart and you should end up with something like this. So the biggest section represented is for maths, that's 12 students, English, science, languages and other. And that's how you draw a pie chart using angles.